shores. Lord, we come into this place singing songs of love and grace. Worship God and love we bring, prayers of thanks and hymns of praise. You have named us your possessions, you are our guide for all our days. Shepherd God, whose ways are true, hear us as we worship you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we begin to celebrate this Eucharist, we take a moment and we turn to God in the spirit of pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contract of our heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, eternal shepherd of the faithful, who sent blessed Francois de Laval as bishop to extend the dominion of Christ to the people of God, grant through his intercession that we may strive always to keep and to put into practice the faith which, with unquenchable zeal, he strove to proclaim. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading, the second letter of Timothy. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is judge, the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, be persistent, whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with the sound of doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will put away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim the God's marvelous deeds to all the nations who sing to the Lord a new song Sing to the Lord of the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. Tell of his marvelous works among all the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. It, he will judge the peoples with equity. Proclaim 
the gods' marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am the Good Shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The imagery of the shepherd may not be as natural to us today when we're no longer used to owning sheep and being in need of a shepherd to provide for them and to care for them. But the question here is, in whom do we entrust what is most precious to us? The lives of those we care about the most our own lives, our families, our community, the well-being, all the things that are important to us. To whom do we entrust our desire for goodness, for ourselves and all those who are part of our life and whose goodness we desire? We have to remember that anything good, anything truly good that we desire and ought to love, originally comes from God. God is the one who created it all. He is the one who owns it all. He is the one who provides it all. Anything we seek, we must seek because God wishes that we seek it and we desire it because God loves it. This unity of our desire for goodness and our desire for God must not be separated. And whenever we try to find somebody else, some other principle to guide us to goodness, to beauty, to the love of God, some hired hand that we try to invent for ourselves to get goodness on our own terms, then we will end up be, be, being like, like the wolves who destroy rather than care. Christ is the word of God. Jesus of Nazareth is the son of God, born in human flesh by Mary. He is one of us, and he's also the good shepherd who cares for what God has created, all of us. And the beauty is, in him, we also become good shepherds and owners of the goodness that God has provided. We're no longer just sheep, we are shepherds too. And our duty is to complete what Christ has begun. There are all these other sheep, all these other individuals who seek God, who seek goodness, who seek love in their lives. We are called now with Christ to be the good shepherds. All of us are meant to seek out the lost and find them and guide them back to the one who truly can protect them, to the one who truly can give them God's love and goodness, Jesus Christ.
pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, on the feast of blessed Francois, that bestowing on us your pardon, your oblation may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Francois, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time of the Triton entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life with the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you feel us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one in the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, but throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Francois, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.